Hello and welcome back to Digging with Dallas. That's me. Today we're back down here at the pond. I am planting three pond plants. They are Tanella, Red Stem, and Aquatilis. I think that's how you pronounce that one. So we're going to plant these in the pond. They are all going to sink down to the bottom. But more importantly, I'm going to show at the end what's inside the net. It's amazing. You're going to have to wait and see. So let's dive straight in and we'll get these into the bottom of the pond and I'll show you how I'm going to do it and how I'm going to weigh them down so they do remain at the bottom of the pond. And here we are. So these are the three plan, pond plants that we are going to be planting. I picked these up from uh, the local garden centre earlier on today. I seem to be spending warm time in there at the moment. So they are going to remain in these plant pots. So what I've also got here while I was there, <coughs> picked up one of those. It's for storing them in, in the actual shop. So what I will do is I'm going to plant them in trees like so. So now they are actually in that, what I've also got here, like magic, one I made earlier, is I've got the slate. So I'm going to put the slate on top of this one here, especially because it's got the soil there. But what that's going to do, it's just going to help keep that soil in that pot. And that plant now will grow around the actual slate. I have already cleaned that already. If I didn't, I'd end up with the murky, the dust coming off of it, and then it doesn't look pleasant in the bottom of your pond, although the filterization system would suck it through and get rid of it. Now these are just some house bricks that we've still got. I'm just gonna pop one of them on that corner and one on that corner. So it's going to sit like that at the bottom of the pond. And then what it's also going to do, we've got these little holes here, if you spin it round again all the way through and what this is going to do it is just going to give any small wildlife that's in there if it does need to dive and get away from a, a predator that's in there it can do the only predators that are really in there at the moment are, are the fish there's lots of tadpoles in there there's frogs and there's the newt as well now have i given you a clue there what is in the net so I'm going to dive now in and I'm going to put these into the pond so I'll put the camera down and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. So let's crack on with that next job. So here we are now. I've, put, I've set that down. What I am going to do, I'm just going to take that off of there just so I don't get as wet doing this. I am going to put this in there first. I've already decided it's going to come down this side of the pond because I already have got pond plants here. You can already see some at the back. There's also some here. My hoping for doing this, that what it's going to do, it's just going to give it um, that the cover that I need it to do so in the in the summer months because it does remain in the sun for, for quite a, a large proportion of the day and then you can end up with quite a lot of green algae growing on the pond and, and it doesn't look pleasant at all and I may even get away with only using the, the one slab um, one slab listen to me the one brick there I did look in the garden centre today for some more of these big pieces of slate because I think they would look more natural at the bottom of the pond it didn't have any but they are getting them in again in the near future so that is something i'm gonna have to go back to a garden center and buy again uh, so i'm gonna leave the labels on them just for now so i can remember what they are you can see a lot of bubbles coming up out of these already and um, that one can go in there and then one that's got the slate in and as you'll see when I put this in now you shouldn't get too much murkiness come up and out from it and so those three are now sitting in there so that's going to kind of cover this bit here 
with what I wanted to do with the pom plants when they come up. Some of them will flower and some of them will actually come up above the water. So now I've kept you all waiting to almost the, the end of the vlog. I'm going to show you the most exciting thing that's in this net. I've always said on this that if you build it, they will find it. If you build wildlife at home, they will come and they will thrive. So in here, I'm not going to touch it because I'm a bit, you shouldn't really handle wildlife unless you 100% have to do so. So let's spin it around and you'll see what, what's now living in the pond. I know a man called uh, John, he's been asking to see this for quite a bit. So in there, as you can see, I bring it up the water a little bit because these do, they do live on land as well. We've actually got a female common neat and that's what that is there so she has found this pond and she's decided to, to make it at her home and there is a male in there as well but i didn't see it when i was doing this the only reason i saw this one is that as i was moving some of the uh, pom plants out she uh, she showed herself what i'm going to do now is i am just going to flat her again so without further ado she's swimming to the bottom of the net now there we go, and off she goes back down to the bottom and she hides in those plants quite a lot and she'll be down there eating the tadpoles. So that is that. So if you enjoyed what I've done here, please remember to like and subscribe, especially if you're new to the channel. If you're not and you've already subscribed, I really do appreciate every single one of you. And there you go, John, that is your new. I hope you've enjoyed this and I shall see you on the next vlog which I'm going to be planting a flamingo tree. That's my next job because I've got one of those today as well. So you'll uh, pick that vlog up possibly tomorrow. Uh, thanks and I shall speak to you later.